Hey guys, before we start talking about the Colts vs. Bills game, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe button. My goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the middle of January. I'm currently coming up with daily content. So if you're interested in more daily NFL videos, hit that like and subscribe button. It allows me to keep making great content for you guys, and I'd really appreciate it too. That said, let's dive right into the video, and I hope you enjoy. <music> So congratulations to the Buffalo Bills, and what a crazy finish in this game. I mean, there was that Zach Paschal no-fumble call uh, that looked like a fumble in my eyes, um, and that would have ended it for Buffalo, and then just a few plays later, uh, Phillip Rivers throws the ball deep, and um, it ends up being incomplete. So at the end of the day, tough loss for the Indianapolis Colts. They played a very, very good football game against this Buffalo Bills team that looked very beatable in this game. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, they only won by three points. Indianapolis looked like they had a good game plan going into it, and they could, just could not finish it off. Um, so congratulations to the Buffalo Bills. First playoff win in 25 years. That's massive. Um, and it starts with a defense for them. They were aggressive on defense early. They brought a lot of pressure to Phillip Rivers, um, and they made Rivers feel uncomfortable. Uh, the Bills' run D was also on point, uh, especially when it was Jonathan Taylor. When there was Naeem Hines in the game, they looked like they struggled a little bit, but overall, this defense was pretty good. Um, and it was all about that defensive success that they've had in the past few weeks. Um, it kind of carried on into today's game. And they held this Indianapolis Colts team to countless goal line stops and just being annoying. That's what they were. This Buffalo defense is not what they were last year, but they're annoying. They're just frustratingly annoying. Um, and I think they did a pretty good job, pretty solid job in today's game, especially against a good running team that couldn't really run the football that effectively at the beginning of the game. They were able to run it a little bit better towards the end of the game, uh, but by then they had to throw the football a lot to just get back into it and to really stay in the game. Um, and then, I mean, if we look at the offense for a second, I mean, the Colts' pressure Earlier in the game, they brought a lot of pressure on Josh Allen, and that really hurt the Bills in their passing game, right? The Bills this season have been fantastic throwing the football. That's been Josh Allen's specialty. Um, that's been Stephon Diggs, what he's had and what he's been able to do. Um, and then Cole Beasley looked good. I mean, overall, this Bills passing game looked good, but it, at the beginning of the game, they did not look good because the Colts were bringing pressure, and they were making Josh Allen feel uncomfortable. Also, this field, like the field position game that was going on, on in the game, uh, was something that was interesting, and that hindered uh, Buffalo's offense in the first half. I mean, Indianapolis uh, kept on punting the ball within the 10, within the 15, and um, the Buffalo Bills' best field position to start the game was, I think, about, like, the 15-yard line in that first half. Uh, so overall, that's something that really hurt this Buffalo team. However, the momentum swung, and the momentum swung after a huge fourth down goal line stop by the Bills um, in that end of that first half, uh, that, where the Colts uh, were within the two, um, and then they ran a play to Michael Pittman, and he ended up dropping the ball in the back of the end zone, and that really swung the tide of the game. The Bills uh, got the ball back. They went down the field, scored a touchdown with 14 seconds left in the first half, and then the momentum carried for the rest of the game. And that really was the turning point in my eyes. The Colts had played a great first half, had the lead 10-7, to and then they couldn't convert on fourth down, and then the Bills kind of just took over from there. But, I mean, it was still competitive down the stretch. And after that, Josh Allen did what Josh Allen did all season, finding Stephon Diggs and finding that connection and allowing for that connection to grow and develop and for that offense to be really successful down the stretch because of his ability to throw the football. And Cole Beasley was good too. Um, those were two guys that I really liked to see in this game. And also Gabriel Davis. That's another name that I thought had a fantastic game, having numerous uh, sideline catches, uh, toe tap catches uh, with very good precision and accuracy. I liked what those guys were able to do. And on Josh Allen's touchdown to Stefan Diggs um, in that third, I think maybe third or fourth quarter, um, According to Next Gen Stats, there was only a 26.1% catch probability on, on that play. So you can see Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs' connection. Um, and then a few other things if we look at, at uh, the Bills' offense, and Josh Allen especially. Last year, obviously, the storyline in the wildcard game was uh, against against the Texans was his inability to really keep hold of the football. He fumbled a few times in that game, and he fumbled late today in the fourth quarter. That moved the Bills back 23 yards and really gave the Colts um, a chance, right? That defensive line for the Colts was fantastic today, um, and they really pressured Josh Allen, really uh, pushed him around and, and, and made his life uncomfortable. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, his fumble there could have been catastrophic. It could have been a catastrophe, right? If, if the Colts had... Uh, gotten that ball, uh, the Colts could have won this game easily, right? Uh, they would have had two and a half minutes left from the 48-yard the line, uh, some, somewhere around there, and I think they would have won the game, but huge play by the offensive line. One of the offensive linemen ended up picking up that ball, so huge for them. And then let's look on to next week. Moving on to next week, they need to keep up that defensive intensity 
intensity that they had in this game, especially late um, in that fourth quarter. They had a lot of drive and a lot of spirit, um, and it was a huge reason for them winning. And they need to continue to do what they did all year on offense throughout the entire game. They didn't stick to their offensive philosophy for the entire game today. They weren't able to get going in the first half. They looked sloppy at times. They looked beatable. They didn't look like the absolute juggernaut that we saw in the past few weeks. Um, and they need to continue to use Josh Allen in the run game. They got him involved a lot in the run game today. Um, he had over 40 yards on the ground. He actually had 54 yards and a touchdown on the ground. Um, and he led this team in carries and in rushing yards. So overall, getting Josh Allen involved in the running game is going to really help this Bills offense moving forward. So now let's go to the Colts. And it's really a tough loss for them. Um, they end up being eliminated from the postseason. And you know what? I really was excited to see Philip Rivers have another postseason run um, and hopefully, you know, make a run at a Super Bowl. But now there's going to be the questions. Is he going to retire, right? Um, so that's going to be something big for the Colts. But in the first half, they looked like a cohesive team. Uh, they were good in all three phases of the game. They played uh, the ball control game. Uh, they played the, the field position game. Uh, they were running the football pretty well. They were throwing the football well. They were playing good defense. Um, and then their special teams uh, with their with their punting and, and their kicking was overall really solid. Of course, Rodrigo Blankenship ended up missing um, a kick in that second half of that game uh, that ended up, you know what, it, it would have tied the game at 27, 27-27. I mean, it would have ended up allowing for the Colts to tie the game down the stretch. Um, so you got to look back at that. That's a moment that really hurts them. And it's really their inability to finish off leads decisively, this Colts team in the past few weeks. Obviously, they had a huge lead against Pittsburgh a few weeks ago that they ended up uh, giving up. And even last week against Jacksonville, they were up 20 to nothing, and they allowed Jacksonville to get back into that game. So overall, I mean, the, the their inability to just finish off leads decisively really hurt them down the stretch. And you know what? This is actually Philip Rivers' first loss in the wild card round in his playoff history, in his playoff career. Um, so that's a tough one for him. And it really started on the offensive side of the football with Jonathan Taylor and his early struggles running uh, the football. He got going a little bit on that fourth drive, um, ended up having touchdown, but the lack of a run game put a lot of pressure on Phillip Rivers. And the Bills were bringing a lot of pressure. And you saw Phillip Rivers drop back five, six, seven, eight steps at a time, looking like Patrick Mahomes at times, um, and then firing that ball off his back foot because that pressure was so intense. I mean, that's something that was kind of interesting to see because that Colts offensive line is one of the better ones in the NFL. And it was weird to see that they really weren't able um, to really uh, help uh, Philip Rivers in that regard. And then and so a few other guys that I, I thought had stand-up performances, Jack Doyle was really good, not as a not just as a blocking tight end, uh, where he was able to make some room in the run game, but also as a pass catcher. He was one of the best pass catchers on this team today for the Indianapolis Colts, um, and he ended the game with seven catches for 70 yards and a touchdown, um, and he was one of those reasons why that Colts team was able to stay in the game. And then defensively, this defense was good all year, and they were pretty solid today. Held a Bills team that was averaging around 38 points in the past few few games to only 27 points. Um, and uh, Darius Leonard and DeForest Buckner looked really good Buckner was good at getting pressure to the quarterback. Leonard was just a presence in the middle of that defense. And overall, this defense is going to be good next year. I want to see them add uh, some help in the secondary in the offseason. And as well, I want to see them add another wide receiver. And most importantly, the whole quarterback uh, question is a huge need to fill. Is it going to be Jacoby Brissett next year? Is Phillip Rivers going to come back? I know the Colts would love to have him back. But I would even see maybe the Colts go out and draft a quarterback. This is a good quarterback draft this offseason. Um, so I think maybe getting a guy in the building, maybe if he, if Philip Rivers decides to come back, sitting, allowing him to sit behind Philip Rivers and learn, or even behind Jacoby Brissett and learn, or maybe he ends up starting um, at support at some point next season. I think that would be a good thing for the Colts. But at the end of the day, I really liked how they played today in that first half, and they just got unlucky. They got unlucky down the stretch, but their defense really carried them through the season. So at the end of the day, huge win for the Buffalo Bills, absolutely massive. Great win for them. First playoff win in 25 years. Um, and then for the Colts, just, I mean, it's a tough loss, tough way for Phillip Rivers to go out. And I know he, he still has more fire left in him. It's just going to be, is he going to play next season? And that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? What were your takeaways from today's game? And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop a like and a sub. I'd really appreciate that. It would help my channel grow. And until next time, see ya.